Okay, having a look at this pump on an ice builder system. Just makes a load of ice on those pipes. And then that pumps chilled water around the heat exchanger. Um, it's not moving a lot of water, so what we have found is, uh, if we can get in there, down in the um, pump head, it looks like there's a load of rubbish in there. Um, and I think it's that um, material that's come off the lid. You can see a bit hanging down, I think that's all papery stuff has come off and got stuck in the pump. So we're going to try and get this apart, see if we can clean it out. Okay, got that apart. We've had to get a chisel in there and just give it a few taps with a hammer and just work your way around gradually so it's not you're not trying to do all the work in one area. Anyway, we've got that loose. Um, and you can see the aluminium corrosion's got in there so we'll have to careful about O-ring but get in there and give that a clean up before it will get us back together. Okay, so that looks okay. We put a little um, scratch mark on there, a little scratch mark on there, so we've got something to line it up with. Okay, yeah, you can see the bits in, stuck in the impeller, bit of cardboardy stuff. Yeah, all the bits in the middle. So uh, see how this comes apart. Yeah, you can see all that crap in the middle there. Um, it looks like it's a two-stage pump. It's got two impellers in one. Anyway, we'll see what we can do with uh, getting all that cleaned out. Actually, there's another one behind. I think it's three. There'll be three stages. Right, got that nut off. Um, it's actually a reverse thread. I think I remember hearing something. When they've got these little nicks on the corners of the nut, it can signify it's a left-hand thread. Anyway, that's uh, I'm gonna show up here because you can't get I can't get the light and the camera in line with it, but um, it's pretty much there we go. Solid with shit. Um, I'm not sure if we can gonna get this bit off without splitting here. That might make a leak. So uh, I might see if we can get in there with a brazier mod and poke the other one out. This one's fixed. It's two. Go to this one first, I think. Comes out of here, goes back through here to the centre of the next one, so it's like a two stage pump. Um, so most of the shit's going to be in this one. Anyway, we'll get that cleared out, and then we'll see if we can clear the other one out with a brazier mod. So I don't really want to disturb this bit if I can help it. Right, got that cleaned out. Um, and that is all the crap that come out of there. So now we've got to, got to try and get work in there and clean that other one out. I think we might have to try and take this apart. See how we get on. Right, got that off in the end. Um, it's not actually helped. Uh, much looking at the design of it I think they must put this together and then spot weld it um, so we're not going to be able to clean that inner um, impeller out the same as we did the old the outside one um, what I think I'm going to do is get me a little uh, jet washer out and see if we can just fire it in um, through there maybe through here See if we can uh, wash it out that way. Um, it's not even the direct way in with a piece of wire. Anyway, see how we get on. Right, 
I've put a bolt through the centre so I've compressed the seal again because it's a spring loaded seal and now we can, uh, we can get in line with them vent some poke, poke abrasion rod in there we've given it a blast out with a jet wash and that's fired a few bits out but I think the, the, um, the most of the dirt was in the front impeller we got caught in there before we got into that one we've given these a blast out as well but anyway we'll have a fish about in there with a brazen rod Okay, got that back together and we'll put some of this uh, super lube synthetic grease, like silicon grease around that back. I've cleaned all the corrosion out behind there and just put a bit of grease in there. And I might put a dab of grease on that o-ring just to give it a hand. Right, that's back together and spins. Definitely moving some water now. Needs all these little bits fishing out of here. All that. Crap under there. 